Once again, welcome to 265 and Mag. Thanks that uh, you've chosen to watch uh, this podcast. Today we'll be looking straight into the death of American rapper Richie Homie Quinn, who passed on at the age of 34. Before we go into the talk, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Don't go away before you do that. That support will always be appreciated. All right, let's jump on into the talk. Da Queen Devante Lamar, professionally known as a Richie Homie Quinn, was an American rapper beginning his career in 2011. Lemaire first rose into fame with a 2013 single Type Away, which peaked at number 50 on Billboard Hot 100. His 2015 single Flakes saw further success which hit at number 26 on the chart. The single featured his fellow Atlanta rapper Yang Tag. Lemaire was a member of Cash Money Records owned by the Cash Money billionaire Beldman. Lemaire was a member of Cash Money Records, a spin-off project, Rich Gang, which found success in 2014 with their single, Lifestyle. Lemaire's debut studio album, Rich As In Spirit, 2018, aimed at the Billboard 200 at number 33. Came 2024, September 5th, news broke out that the Atlanta rapper had passed on. Alrighty, guys. So uh, yesterday, um, news had begun to circulate. I know I was getting calls, stuff was hitting Twitter uh, that Rich Homie Quan, rapper Rich Homie Quan, had passed away, um, and it was later confirmed um, that this did happen. So I spoke to a, a source close to the family um, who said that you know his family was devastated. They were trying to figure I'm sure. out, yeah, like, like you know, like what happened, why. Um, and I know TMZ also confirmed the story uh, with the same statement. Um, and details later came out that basically he was home. I guess he was asleep on the couch. His girlfriend, who was the one who called 911, said that uh, he was asleep. She put a blanket on him, left, took their kid to school came back and realized that he had never moved from the couch, which was kind of weird for him. Um, so she went to check on him. And when she went to check on him, she didn't feel a heartbeat or anything mm -hmm. like that. So she turned him over and then he was foaming at the mouth, um, which is when she calls 911. Um, and there's a 911 call out there that I am not going to play. Mm -mm. Um, it was it, just hearing her in the call. I just was like, man, I felt for her. You know what I mean? You hear people in the background kind of coming and they're trying to figure out what's happening. But why do we need to hear? The news came in as a shock, but it was later on verified by TMZ. According to the Breakfast Club's Anjali Yee, this is the first report that came out concerning Richie Homie Quan's day. So rumors of how he passed on began to circulate by then. As the news began to spread on X and the other social media platforms, it also never took no time for TMZ to verify. According to Richie Homie Quan's father, on his recent interview, he is also not aware or not sure of the actual cause of his son's day. According to Quan's father, Corey Lemaire, who was also acting as his, his manager, he says, as a family, they are only waiting for the toxicology report, as this will at least open the public to what might actually be the actual cause of Richie Home Quan's day. A little look into Richie Home Quan's day. I mean, just respectful. I don't mean any disrespect right. by That's us right. at all, but I mean, there are, in this era we live in now, mm -hmm. there's so many people saying so many different things on social. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know this just happened. Do you guys have any idea of what happened yesterday? I mean, I have no idea at this time. Basically, I'm waiting on the toxicology report. I don't know. You know. I don't know. I, um, when I got there, he was being bought out on a stretch. Um, and once they went to the hospital with my son, I immediately went in the house and started praying. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm like everybody else. I have to wait and see. I don't want to speculate. Um, I stand on principles. I stand on values. I won't lie. I won't lie. And if it's something that can prove, I mean, you're you're his, you're his father, but it sounded like he looked at you as uh, a mentor and, and. But don't be quick. 
there are always unverified rumors. Now, word on the street has to add that Quan died due to an overdose. Recently, as, he, as young as he was, Quan stepped out of the rap game to kind a career off his head. But to say the truth, it shows Quan had a lot going on in his life, more than what people would think about. Actually, at the moment, nobody is questioning or suspecting any foul play. But we are going to keep you informed as the events and forwards for now make sure that you subscribe to 265 anti mag tv because a lot is about to come we are always with you from the start to the finish hit that subscribe button till next time